Leo. Hey, baby. I don't even know what time it is. Oh, it's too early. But I told Kevin I would get up with him today and be a productive morning person. Even though it's I was gonna feed her. She is a wild animal. Gracie Mae, sit down. Apparently. Goodness. Look at this hottie. Oh, baby. I picked up his outfit. <laughs> It is a bright and early 6 a.m. Who gets up at this time? It's absolutely crazy. Just kidding. Kevin gets up at this time like every single day. Because he has class at 7 a.m. But it's okay. I'll be a morning person maybe sometime. She's almost completely transitioned over to her new food. I'll go ahead and show you what that is. It is wholesome homemade red meat recipe. It's dehydrated, so you just let it soak in water. Look at that bun. Mm. It's a good looking bun. I am going to make Kevin's coffee for him. He likes cold brew. It's super easy. What I do, I actually make the cold brew myself at home. It's a recipe I got from YouTube. He really likes it. Let me see. One cup of coffee, like just cu dried coffee grounds, and then 750 milliliters of water, and just let it sit in the French press like overnight. And then you press it in the morning. Super easy. And this is actually corporate concentrate. I just keep it in this little Trader bottle. And Kevin's boring and likes his coffee black. Nothing in it. And this concentrate is you do one part coffee, two parts water or milk. So that's what it looks like. And as you can tell, I need to make him some more. Uh oh. I'll do that today. I need your coffee. Thanks. Good morning. Good morning. Come on, little puppy. Morning walk. This is when Kevin leaves us for the day. So sad. There, there he is. Alright, so we're back inside. I was just watching, let me turn the light on, a video from the Weather Channel talking about the Hurricane Florence. It's scary. It's gonna be a bad one. I mean, it's definitely gonna hit South Carolina. Now it's just weather. It goes north and hits like South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia. Or now it might turn south and hit like hit like Myrtle Beach, Wilmington really bad. But then go south and hit North Carolina, South Carolina, and then Georgia. Get like the rain and um, wind and stuff. Scary. Um. But on that note, it's time for me to do my morning yoga. I just finished yoga. It was really good to slow down, breathe, feel things. Whoa, it's windy outside. Just uh, getting the day started, opening up the windows. Sun's come up. Gracie's still asleep. What are you doing, puppy? She's like, Mom, what are 
I'm only sleeping right now. I don't know why you're still up. Crazy woman. So next, I'm supposed to do an hour-ish of schoolwork. I'm kind of hungry. I might just make coffee. Not sure. Good morning, baby Leo. Sleepy boy. He's confused why I'm still awake too. I'm gonna use the minion's cup today. And I'm gonna try this instant Columbia coffee. I hope it's good. It says best before August 2016. So it may not be good. It still smells good, so. It's so weird using instant coffee. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be too hot. the coffee went bad or if it's just too strong for me and I'll like it better iced I'll try iced later but for now I'm gonna cook me some breakfast I'm thinking the other day I had sausage and potatoes I made the potatoes like cut up like Breakfast potatoes. I don't know how else to explain that. You just chop it up, cube it, and then like pan fry it. Really good. So I think I'm gonna make that. Alright, so I just chop, chopped up all the potatoes. That's a lot of potato. I don't know if I'll eat all that. <laughs> That's a lot. Now I need to dry it off with paper towels and then I'll pan fry. Alright, now we're cooking. Got some Jimmy Dean maple sausage and potatoes with salt, pepper, and poultry rub. Probably throw a little bit of garlic in there because we always need garlic. I don't know if I said this earlier, but normally right after I do my yoga, I'll go and do homework for about an hour just to get some of it out of the way. But I was really hungry, so... I'm making breakfast now. I usually fast until probably like 11, 12, 1 o'clock, depending. Um, but yeah, I'm hungry now. I didn't eat a ton yesterday, so. I'm just gonna cook, and then maybe watch an episode of The Office, and then I'll do my homework. All right, here's the finished product. Time to go eat. It's a little bit later now. It's about 11 o'clock. Yeah, so 11 a.m. I watched The Office a little bit longer than I had planned, but this little puppy fell asleep on me, so obviously I couldn't move. But yeah, I'm about to get started on some homework, watch a couple videos, some lectures, drink my iced coffee that I made out of the coffee that I had earlier and didn't taste good. I generally like stronger coffee when it's iced. But. Okay. Guess who's back? Back again. Gracie's back. And awake from her nap. <laughs> Alright, so. Ah, it's been a whole hour. Looky there. Um, I finished a good chunk of the homework I was going to get done today. I'll probably do a little bit more and a little bit. Um, oh, I wanted to tell you about this like survey type thing I had to do. It's for my stress class, like stress management. And it was a character strength something or another, I don't know. It just tells you like your top, like there's 24 character strengths and it tells you about like your top, well, I mean, it's all 24, but in a certain order of, quit looking my foot. You weirdo? We'll go outside a little bit. Um, it tells you about your, like, 
the order which your character strings are. So I just thought I'd tell you my top five because that's what I had to write about for school. So my first one is gratitude. It says being aware of and thankful for the good things that happen, taking time to express thanks. And I think this one's really important because, well, growing up, I feel like this was kind of like ingrained in my head in kind of like a non-healthy way because of how my stepdad was. Um, I was like to the point where I was afraid to not seem grateful enough because I thought I would get in trouble. Well, I probably would have gotten in trouble if I didn't seem grateful. Um, but I feel like now, obviously it's healthier. Now, I feel like it's a lot healthier because I'm very grateful. Like that was my number one gratitude or character strength. And I'm not surprised. Um, another project that I have to do for this class is, it's really kind of cool, um, is every single night I write down my top three things that I'm grateful for. Um, for just for the day and I'll expand on it um, and I feel like it's really helped me like kind of wind down you know like um, think about how the day went and stuff like that um, I don't know I just feel like it's helping me have like a better perspective on things and it's something for me to think about as I go throughout my day and to make sure that I'm being grateful um, and not just write thinking of three random things like, oh, I'm grateful for my vanity and I'm grateful for my phone and, you know, internet or whatever. But like I say why I'm grateful for that and like what made me choose that for the day that I'm grateful for. So, um, I'll do that tonight and I'll make sure I record it and talk about it and all that stuff too. Okay. That was very long winded. I'm sorry. So the second one is spirituality. Having coherent beliefs about the higher purpose and meaning of the universe, for me it's God, Christianity. Knowing where one fits within the larger scheme, having beliefs about the meaning of life that shape conduct and provide comfort. I feel like that one's kind of like, speak for yourself. Number three is appreciation of beauty and excellence. Noticing and appreciating beauty, excellence, and or skill performance in various domains of life from nature to art to mathematics to science to everyday experience. I feel like I've learned this a lot more recently, um, like just like something me and Kevin have in common, um, we always notice how beautiful the sky looks, like when the sun's going down, the sun is rising, honestly just like all throughout the day, like the clouds, like it's just amazing and especially like living out here where my view, I'll show you, I know the blinds are in the way, but like living out here where my view it's just like greenery and trees and nature and yeah there's a lot of bugs like there's a lot of spiders and stuff that live out here but still like we get to see like nature and like a bunch of cool looking bugs and like butterflies that like hang out at the window and um like unique insects i guess um and i can't imagine what it's gonna look like when the leaves actually start falling i know it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous um and if it snows like He's just really appreciative of, like, nature. And I feel like that's really helped me become more appreciative of nature. I'm not a big, like, hiker or, like, outdoor person because I don't like bugs and I don't like sweating and dirty stuff or whatever. Um, but now he's got me wanting to go hiking a lot. And I feel like I'm I'm learning to appreciate and not just, like, outdoor like nature beauty but just like the little things like I feel like that's what can really help you be more grateful and which like I said that goes in with the gratefulness okay I'm talking way too much all right the next one is kindness and the last one's fairness I feel like those also kind of go hand in hand I don't really know like about fairness like you know like what is there like in my day-to-day -day life that is like super like fair? So I wasn't really quite sure. The next one after that was love. So I don't know. we'll see what that one says. Valuing close relations with others, in particular those in which sharing and caring are reciprocated. Being close. To okay, I like that one. Um, I feel like I I do that a lot with my friends. Like I don't have a ton of friends, but the friends that I have, I feel like I can, you know, share and care, and it's reciprocated. <laughs> For the most part, at least. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that. 
I thought it was pretty cool. Um, there's a bunch of these. I could probably guess which ones would be Kevin's top because we're we're very different, but we're also very similar. Like same, same, but different. You know. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to share that. I see. Do you want to go outside? Yeah. You want to go outside for the walk? You want to go for a walk? Are you sure? <laughs> oh, hush. I didn't mean for you to give me sass, Miss Press. Goodness gracious, you are something else, aren't you? You just think you're something else, huh? All right, let's go. All right, Gracie, you want me to put this on you or not? Okay, good girl. It's definitely a hot one today. We're taking a detour. Scenic route. Going back in time. Because Gracie decided to drop her shit in the middle of the parking lot. So that was fun. Take us on, baby. Keep going. Come on. So since I got home, I've just been laying here, watching YouTube videos, editing a little bit, and this puppy just came in. Oh my goodness, she's so rotten. She's so rotten, and we give her every reason to be. I need to get her dinner ready, get her food prep for the next couple days. Uh, what else? I need to eat. <laughs> I'm hungry. I haven't had much food today. All right, I just finished making Kevin's cold brew. Like I said earlier, it's just 750 milliliters of cold water and one cup of coffee grounds. Just gonna leave it in the fridge until tomorrow morning. That's when it'll be ready. Look who's home. Hi. How was your day? It was awesome. How was your day, Gracie? Productive and lazy at the same time. I did everything and nothing. Oh. Everything and nothing? Yeah. How was your day? It was good. Yeah. Um, I took a nap in the study room today. I heard. So it's time for me to make Gracie's dinner. Um, again, this is what she, we're transitioning her to from the Nutro Limited Ingredient Diet, uh, lamb and sweet potato recipe. This is red meat, so it has a lot of lamb. Uh, this is her first meal in the, uh, 75% new food, 25% old food. I haven't added it in there. It's got to soak for 10 minutes. You do equal parts of this food with equal parts water. And so I'm going to go ahead and get her food prepped for the next couple of days until she's fully transitioned. So I'll just get some of these and fill them up. Okay, now that her food's been sitting for a little bit longer than 10 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and get it ready for her to eat. Get a tiny bit of her food. And because of her allergies, we also feed her diet bite as like a supplement. Oh, thank you for doing that, babe. She gets half a scoop for each meal. And then, last but not least, we give her Benadryl because the poor thing has, her allergies are so bad. Pitbull life, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's how what we feed her for her meals. So I'll just stir it up a little bit. Ignore our disgusting trash can. And just pop this up top. All right, Gracie, come here. Sit. Stay. She's so cute. She also will drool if we make her wait long enough. She was bad today. She was being very, very bad. Come on. Happy dog. So earlier I was talking about how um, I was writing in my notebook at the end of the night 
about some about gratefulness. Okay, so another assignment I have for the same class, the stress management, whatever class, is to write down three things that I'm grateful for and then like expand on it and say why. I think I already explained that, sorry. So that's what I'm about to do. And then I'll write them down and I'll explain them. All right, so I'm all done. And let's see. So I started this, I think on the ninth. Nope, on the eighth. So as you see, I normally write like a page and a half to about a page of my three things and just talk about it. Um, today was a little bit shorter for some reason but I'll just go ahead and tell you. Um, like the first thing I thought about that I was grateful for today is like friends and family that support me like with my vlogs and stuff. So thank you for watching, if you're watching, anyone. Um, and Kevin, like he puts up with me um, with being really anal about like recycling a bunch of things and like buying things that are recyclable and like all that waste and stuff and having four different milks in the fridge right now. We have coconut milk for him. I just wanted to try some soy milk and I have fat-free milk and 2% milk because macros. And last, Gracie, she's been a cuddly little baby the last couple of days and really attached to me for some reason. Um, I just wish that her allergies would get better. It's 9.47 p.m. Don't mind me, just balancing on my foam roller. It's a good foot stretch. We're going to take Gracie outside for the end of the night and get ready for bed. Thank you for watching today's vlog. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you'd like to see if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you on my next one.